Okay, in this video we're going to replace the HT Novo backrest actuator. First thing we're going to do is tip the chair onto its right hand side, which give in, you can manually push the calf massager out of the way, which gives you the best access. Then using a Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to remove the four screws that secure the plastic cover. Five screws. These four screws. And then remove the four screws that secure the second plastic cover. Okay, next we're going to remove the connector junction box cover, which uh, may be secured with a zip tie, if so cut it, and then simply pop the cover off, and disconnect the two connectors. The backrest actuator is secured to the chair frame um, using 6 millimeter Allen screws, so use a 6 millimeter Allen wrench on the top an adjustable wrench on the bottom to remove the screw and then use this do the same thing at the other attachment point and remove the actuator from the chair. When you remove the actuator from the chair, the um, metal bushing will likely fall out of each of the mounting points. So you need to reinsert that bushing into the mounting point, align it with the mounting point on the chair, and then replace the bolt to secure it. important that this lock ring is out. Tighten moderately. Once the actuator is secured to the chair, you just reconnect the connectors. And then reposition the connectors inside the connector junction box as they were before. and snap the cover into place. It's important to make sure you're not pinching any wires when snapping the cover into place. Then re-secure the junction box cover with a zip tie and replace the zip tie to secure the backrest actuator cables to the footrest actuator cables. Okay, so when replacing the plastic cover, first you need to align the two holes in the metal bracket with the holes in the chair frame. 
and then align the, the corresponding holes in the plastic cover on top of those metal frame holes. So the screws are going through, the two screws go through both the plastic cover and the metal bracket. Place the remaining screws. To make sure you orient it properly, align the flat end of the cover with the rear of the chair. Once that cover is secure, use two people to gently return the chair to the upright position, plug it in, power it on, and verify that the actuator is working properly.